Okay. Um, flip over to the offense here. Uh, Adrian Martinez is here. Um, and you guys want to let me know any questions? Sean Callahan. Adrian, uh, first play of the game, you guys get get the fumble. Kind of reminded us of the Illinois game. I mean, did that really set the tone? And, and why did you guys not really find a rhythm as an offense today? Uh, I wouldn't blame it on that play specifically, or, or really even put too much significance on on that play uh, as far as setting the tone for the game. Um, but I, I feel like uh, similarly in other drives, we we would mess up one play, mess up one thing here or there, and uh, attention to detail and that play is that that's on me um and and yeah um uh, brian christopherson hey adrian how do you feel you played today specifically throwing the ball and was was the wind a, a factor down there or was it not so much um i would say uh I, d I definitely did not play my best game. I, I need to be more efficient and effective. And uh, I missed on a few throws that I'd, I'd love to have back that I think could have been big plays. Um, and, and I'll have to go back on, on film and, and look over those and see where I can improve. Um, wind is a factor in Nebraska always, but I'm definitely not blaming the wind today um, in my, my passing success. Good Sherman, The Athletic. Hey, Adrian, I uh, wanted to ask you about a sequence in the second half um, after the missed field goal. It seems that you guys had an opportunity, had some things going there, a uh, chance to tie the game uh, right off the bat in the third quarter. And when it didn't happen, there were three drives after that where nothing really seemed to work for you guys in the running or passing game. Um, you know, what was your analysis on the reason that it, it, it took you a while to get back on track after that missed field goal? Um, right now, I, I really can't point to anything uh, besides um, us as players needing to make things work a little bit more. Um, I'd say I, I made a few mistakes. Some other guys made mistakes. Um, just all 11 guys as one unit executing and, and being detailed. And I think a couple times we, we got a little unlucky and um, also just weren't uh, detailed enough in that. And that's that's Big Ten football, and that's uh, that's on us. What, what, what do you think coming out of this that you guys have left to give um, with another game? Is 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 there a lot of energy still out there for for you guys to? Uh... Yeah, I would say so. I would definitely say so. Uh, this this team's been hungry since the off season, and I know there's there's plenty of guys who who want to go play. Um, obviously, we're expecting to play a game next week. We don't know who or at least I don't right now. Um, but I know our guys will be ready. Parker Gabriel, Journal Star. Hey, Adrian, as a, as a captain, I mean, what, what do you say to the guys? I know it's a situation you've been in more than, than you'd like, where you've, you've come out of a game feeling like you missed an opportunity. But, but what do you say to, to the guys in the locker room, or at least on the offense? Um, it's tough. I, I would say we missed our opportunities, um, and we could have played a lot better especially on the offensive side of the ball. Um, we have to be better. And I, it starts with me there. And um, I'll take full responsibility for um, not executing at the highest of, of levels that I know I'm capable of and that my teammates expect of me. Um, so I have to own that. And again, we're going to look back at the film and, and know the few plays that we missed on and um, have to take advantage of those things. Um, yeah. Um, and, and one more, if I could, that Scott said, you know, that the practice was really good this week and that the execution of the passing game was really good in practice. When it doesn't translate to a game, is it is it mystifying? Is it frustrating? Like, what what is going through your mind? I know you're just trying to move on to the next play, but what goes through your mind when it doesn't look on the field on Saturday like it did over the course of the week in practice? Uh, yeah, you know, obviously it's frustrating. And my mindset in the game is, you know, got to move on to the next play and, and play within that, but um, yeah, you know, and that's that's football. Sometimes um, you can't always expect it to be exactly how it was in practice. Um, that's the game. But again, this week uh, I, I agree with coach and thinking that we had a good week of practice, and um, 
I've got to hit on more of those throws, and that's on me. Sam McEwen, Omaha World Herald. Adrian, I understand that the wind didn't affect your passing, but but was there a difference in, in the direction? Like if you were going uh, toward the north end zone, the versus the south end zone, was there, was there a, a, a wind effect? Um, honestly, it did not cross my mind during that game. I obviously, uh, I would know which direction the wind was blowing, but it wasn't something I'd think about wind throwing or um, on a drive in the game. Do you, do you get the sense that there's things about your passing game that uh, are just still to be developed? In other words, things that you'd like, you guys would like to do, but just aren't, aren't really able to do yet? Um, I would say there's things that we need to execute better, for sure. Um, and that's a process. And I think all our guys know that. I know that. Um, we had some really good play calls today. And, and I've, personally, I have to execute better. I think our receivers are really coming along. Tight ends are, are very solid. Um, again, I have to take responsibility there, and and uh, that's something we're going to get better at. And I have confidence in our passing game moving forward. Okay, and we'll uh, looks like we'll finish up here with Adrian with Evan Bland, World Herald. Hey, Adrian, Minnesota had that uh, go ahead touchdown drive there late in the, in the second quarter. How much do you think that affected how you guys went about your business in the second half? I guess, in other words, as an offense, does it matter whether you're behind and how you go about your play calls and attacking? Um, in this given game, I would say no. That didn't really affect us. Um, we knew, regardless of the score, we were going to have to come out and, and be ready to go. And um, I think that's the mindset, regardless of what the score is. And uh, it didn't really change much in, in that scenario today. Right. Thank you, Adrian. Um, that might be it, but I will hang tight for a second and I will confirm that. Thanks.